This is a video overview of pay periods, which allow Zimbal clients who have fixed pay cycles to configure them within the system, and thereby facilitate the future execution of their payroll report. In order to initially configure the system to work using pay periods, please follow these instructions. Once you log into the system, click on the settings menu and choose the payroll tab. First, choose a time frequency for your pay period. There are four different options available, weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly and monthly. Make sure to set up your starting point correctly as it will impact your accumulated timesheets up to that point. With the weekly option selected, you can choose on which particular day of the week your payroll starts. For example, if we choose Thursday the 1st as our starting point, that pay period will last until Wednesday the 7th, with the next cycle starting on Thursday the 8th. This will also work retrospectively with the last pay period ending on Wednesday the 31st. The same logic applies to the bi-weekly and monthly options. So if we choose the bi-weekly pay period starting on Monday the 12th, this cycle will last until Sunday the 25th, with the next cycle starting on Monday the 26th. With the semi-monthly option, you can choose two different starting points during the month to run payroll. For example, let's choose the 1st and the 20th. This effectively means that the first pay period will last from the 1st until the 19th of every month. The next cycle will include the 20th and run until the last day of the month. So, now that we have chosen the time frame, it's time to assign employees as well. You can do that manually by selecting each employee yourself. Next, you can use the search bar to find a particular employee or you can choose the Add All Employees option. You can also filter and add your employees by department or by position. When done with the selection, make sure to save the settings. The pay periods are now configured. 